Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I will talk about the month of November 2022 for the sign of Pisces. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Pisces, then this is your video. So Pisces today I have a little bit of a different change of scenery. So I rented a house into the like in the middle of the mountains in a nature in Spain um, and usually I am filming for my apartment so I hope <laughs> it's working out fine but let lo let's look at the month of November which is gonna be kind of a it's almost like a dubious month like the beginning of the month is going to be a little bit hectic but is forcing changes and the second half of the month is really lovely like there's gonna be a lot of wonderful changes and we're gonna talk about that soon so we had a solar eclipse uh, around the end of October and we're gonna have this subject continuing until the 8th of November when we have this total full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus and for you Pisces Taurus is in your third house and third house has to do with everything uh, studying. This is your neighbors, your transport. So maybe some of you are buying new, a new car or buying new electronics. Um, and you have the south node in the ninth house in Scorpio. So you're letting go of a lot of old belief systems regarding to higher learning. So it could be that you're like less focused on uh, spirituality and mindfulness and more on studying something new. Or if it is in the same subject, you're going to study something like uh, third house is a little bit more factual. So you're going to study something so you can earn money with the things that you really want to do. And we have Jupiter at the same time back into your sign. So this is giving you an extra boost, uh, extra optimism for everything that you wish to do. Uh, unfortunately, we do leave Chiron by on its own in the second house. So be aware of your money. Like it, it does feel a little bit uncomfortable. So um, don't try to overspend money on the wrong things. Uh, on too many healers or too many uh, things or holding back too much. Uh, because there is a massive learning taking place now on how to deal with money. Um, yeah, so... With Taurus there in the third house, you're, some of you are really reconnecting with family members and especially siblings, right? Third house is siblings. So you're focusing on uh, reconnecting with them. And uh, there is a square in the 12th house. So there is some karmic cycle happening uh, regarding your relationship with your siblings, regarding your neighbors. So any of these issues that might come up, uh, you're going to resolve it with the North Node there. And the ninth house, maybe in the past you were running away from certain um, situations. You would travel far away, you would run away, but now you're going to face it hands on and you're going to really, um, yeah, really face these issues and resolve it. Also with Mars there in the fourth house, right? So it could be several things in the family that, you know, some related, like anger related things, some emotions that you have to release. And the way you travel is going to be different. So you have the south node in the ninth house. So like I said, maybe in the past you were traveling to go away from something. Uh, but now you're going to travel to connect. To connect to yourself. Uh, to learn new things. So you're going to travel in different ways. You're going to travel... Uh, yeah, maybe you're going to travel more to learn about how to deal with finances, like doing workshops in a different country. Um, yeah, revisiting a place where you've been to really understand uh, what it is that you can still learn. And there's just going to be a lot of optimism, especially towards the second part of the month. We have uh, Jupiter in your sign trining this bunch in your ninth house so definitely if you're doing a trip you're gonna be very blessed to do so but it's going to be a different type of trip right it's going to um 
like maybe f first you were rushing through different things or you were just staying by the beach and now you're gonna have a different idea on how to do travels maybe before you were traveling with other people and now you want to do it alone so you're definitely gonna look at it from a different perspective and we're going to have a new moon in Sagittarius as well. And this will happen by the end of the month on the 23rd of November. And also Jupiter will go direct again in your sign. So you're going to have and experience major, major, major blessings. So, you know, it is not a time to really move forward with Mars retrograde. But you can experience blessings from things you've done in the past your family you've helped in the past right um yeah it could be a trip to a place you've already been or you're going to a new place but maybe just close by and you're gonna learn something uh, on this trip or you're gonna work and travel it's gonna be different something different and with jupiter going so close to neptune you're gonna be super duper um uh, intuitive but it can also create some fogginess sometimes okay so really make sure to meditate and connect with yourself in order to make the right decisions but studying is in the cards like in the cards in the astrology cards <laughs> but you're definitely going to study more and enhance your knowledge so you can maybe travel more or so you can help that um, it's going to help you with a certain job that you would like to do so, yeah, this new moon is going to be in your 10th house. So you're going to have some luck regarding to your work as well. You're going to be seen more. You're going to have new ideas on how to, uh, to put your work forward. Like a lot of you are really great teachers there with uh, Sagittarius in the 10th house. Or you're really good at explaining. Um, so maybe what you're studying is helping you to teach something and to bring that to the public eye. Yeah. And with Saturn in your 12th house, you're really uh, releasing a lot of karma regarding to the father, so the father line, but also um, committing to spirituality and committing to being more selfless, like helping people out. And you are already a very selfless sign, but you're really working towards um, me being meaningful to the universe. Let me get you another card. Higher education. Okay, so we're gonna you're gonna combine your higher education, so your intuition, with your earthly studies, so to speak. Steady progress. So you know, maybe you want things to happen a bit faster, but you're going to get the blessings that you want. And especially towards the end of the month, it's going to be great. So stress management and sleep, it's going to be really busy. You're going to experience a really busy time. So make sure to sleep well. And with Saturn in the 12th house, some of you do have a bit of sleeping issues. So maybe you could do some yoga or like martial arts to have a better energy flow and you will sleep a bit better. Wise decision and healing. So there's a lot of healing taking place. Um, maybe you grew up in a very like strict religious place and you want to change this. And I want to be careful with what I say because I'm all pro anything, but you need to follow your own heart. Okay. But also regarding mother. So there could be something with mother. Maybe you're making a trip with your mother or there's some healing that needs to take place with your mother. Okay. So let's see if I can get you one last message before I close down this reading. Yeah, I'm getting again a female and a garden. So whoever this female is for you, this person, that could be a friend or a lover or something. It's going to be like, um, like a garden. Like something really beautiful okay so you're gonna be quite lucky again with Jupiter in your first house you're gonna be very magnetic very seen so you might attract luck but also jealousy so be aware of people who are a little bit jealous of your success um, yeah just yeah I'm getting the Fox whoa Pisces I think that you have to do with some jealousy as well but 
walk the higher road, I would say. Um, yeah. And find, like, swim away. And, I mean, this is also the card of abundance. So, abundance will find you when you just don't focus on these people. I mean, um, they will at some point find their own way or find someone else that has something that they don't as long as you focus on what you want you will, can attract a lot of um, luck to you in the month of um, November it's gonna be a really lucky month and you so so deserve it Pisces so if you like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment below how this resonates with you maybe at 5,000 subscribers I will also do some free reading giveaway or something like this but if you're like uh, I want to have a reading with you you can also find my details in the description box below and I hope to see you next time and have a blissful month in November bye bye